Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, I have been hinting at this for a little bit. Okay, so my subscribers already know. There is a bag, and yes, I'm very, 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 very blessed. Okay, I currently have, this will be my 10th bag in my collection of bags by The Row. That was a mouthful. I have owned 10, 11, 12, 13, 12 to 13 bags in my lifetime. And so essentially it's obvious, they're my favorite designer. I love them so much. However, there's one bag style that has eluded me. And I finally think, with your guys' help, you can tell me, but I finally think I have found the one and we're unboxing it today. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put up videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And so I can wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys wait because I'm too excited and this is gonna be a quick little cute little video, but I did lay some little hints in my cute little new series that I'm doing, going over my favorite bags, worn by some of our favorite people here, okay, by the row, of course, it's very the row coded, very me coded. So if anybody has a guess, the, t the time is now, because I'm so excited about this, and I know most people are gonna be like, what? But if you know me and have seen any of the videos on my channel about the row, you know that I love the weird, wonky, wonderful, lesser known bags from the row. Again, me, yes, I know, very me. Pretentious, okay? I was for lack of a better term. However, I have been on a hunt for this bag for so long. I don't think now, like maybe now is one of the weirder, lesser known ones, but when this bag was in its heyday, this was the it bag, okay, from the row. And I've talked so much about how when I was like, I was either in college or right out of college or something like that, I was shopping with my dear aunt and I went over to the corner of Saks Fifth Avenue. No idea, I was a youngling, okay, probably 19, 20. I have to cross reference when this actually released for the first time, but I was in my early 20s, let's just go ahead and say. You know, she didn't have the real money. She still doesn't have the real money. That's why we buy eBay, okay? I'm just joking, but you know, every once in a while, I had no idea what, who the row was. I didn't know anything, but all I knew was this is the prettiest bag I've ever seen in my life. Something even from then, even before my mom bought her first bag from the row, and that's saying something, because I was like eight, nine, 10 years ago, and she is the OG. But I just remember being pulled to the corner and being like, oh, what is this? A bag can be like this, this is so beautiful. And I was like, $900, oh my gosh. I will never be able to afford this. However many years later, ladies and gentlemen, are we even ready for this, okay? And then I'll explain, because there's a tiny little story and I said I was gonna make it quick, but I will. You guys, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. My newest, any more guests? Now, this is the last time. For the very first time in my collection, the last, time, the last chance you have to guess, okay? But for the very first time in my collection, I share with you guys my ascot bag from the row. I know most people are probably like, what are you, why are you so excited? But I have wanted this bag for so long and so many colors I've almost gone for and just for some reason didn't. Are we shocked that I went with our red? Can you even handle it? Let me cut the tag off finally, because this is eBay authenticity guarantee. Okay, let me cut, I'm not gonna lie, I've had her in my little cabinet. I already found a spot for her and I was like, I need this tag to be off. I need to film this video so that you guys can finally see it, so that I can finally see it and wear her. Okay, hold on. Eee, guys, not only I took the tag off, but I also stuffed it with the dust bags. You guys who I'm sure a lot of you guys know about the Ascot bag, okay? But if you don't, this is the evening bag of all evening bags. Like, look at how shiny she is on camera. This bag, I would say her only fault is that she doesn't photograph well in, per in person. I don't even, I can't even tell you how excited I am. And again, for most of you are probably rolling your eyes. That's fine, I will totally take it. I get excited about the smallest little things. But in person, I can't tell you how luxurious, how thick, how beautiful, insert dirty, you know, comparison now, I get it. But you know what? 
I really don't care. This is the yummiest velvet I've ever felt in my entire life. My mom recently got one. There was a big gulp there. My mom recently got one and I have been my my poor the like adorable thing on my video. She was like, yeah, I just got this just to shut Sophia up and not have, <laughs> have her keep sending me them. Cause I was like, you need this bag and I need this bag. And one came up in black for like an amazing price. And so she got it and I hope you're happy. I think she's worn it to a couple, maybe one. I think she wore it to a wedding though. So yay, amazing. But when I tell you when I first saw hers in person, cause it had been a while since I had seen them, especially in velvet for some reason, I was like, okay, I need this. I don't need a black one, but what is the color gonna be for me? And I, I'm denied for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, there's a gold one, at least that's right now. It might have sold by the time this video goes live, but there's a gold one on the real real. And I was like, well, I have my Everett bag in gold. And I, um, the, the, I'm not gonna lie, the only one I almost regretted was not buying like a deep sage olivey green. And then, as I do, I do my little eBay searches, you know, every couple days, maybe every day sometimes, I don't even know. I will do my little searches for bags from the real, you know, on Vestier, the real real. Yes, I know we've had our issues with the real real. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and see that video, watch to the end, it has a happy ending. But um, yeah, there, you know, I was just looking at some listings and, and I opened up my good old friend eBay, you know, my long, beautiful saga with eBay. Got my very first pre-loved designer bag from eBay, my vintage Hermes Kelly from eBay. And I saw this sitting and I was like, you know what? I am going to sell my double circle bag, which is the only red bag I had from the row. And I said to myself, but I need a red bag from the row because I've done an entire video on this, literally like a year ago or something like that, on how the row and red are a match made in heaven and it is their signature color. Yes, I know the row is known for their beautiful layers of black and beige sometimes, but essentially mainly black and white and beautiful earth tones. But most, you know, everybody who loves and knows the row knows that the red, Mary Kate red, Mary Kate Olsen red is really the rose color. And so I felt like if I'm getting rid of my double circle bag in red, Maybe that one just wasn't the red for me and I needed to try another one. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found the red for me. I could be wrong, you guys tell me what you think, but even when I just put it up against myself as soon as I got it, I was like, oh, yep, yeah, this just feels right. And yes, I have other green bags. The olive green one would have been beautiful. I have other gold bags. The gold one would have been beautiful, but something about an evening bag in red from the route. I don't know. I'm just so excited about this. And it just, it's something about it just feels luxe. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like, oh, we're going to a gala next Thursday. Oh, I have a dress in the back of the closet. And you know what? I'll just take this old thing, this old thing. Exhibit A, this old thing. She's really a this old thing kind of bag. I know I've repeated that 18 times, but it's like, that's the perfect way to describe her. You pull it out of the back of your closet and you're like, oh, I'll just wear it. And then you realize every cool person who loves the row has multiple of these and bought them in multiple colors. It's very Zoe Kravitz of me. Okay, so I told you a very quick little video. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Some of you guys, I'm sure, and not me being self-conscious, okay? Never mind. I was gonna say some of you guys are probably like, all right, this girl has the most random bags, but if you know, you know. This is really the OG. If virality was a thing, if the internet was a thing, this was the OG viral bag from The Row. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of her. I do have a spot for her in my other bag cabinet, but she really, she really might need a focal point. She is the only one, the only real pigmented deeply beautifully colored bag in my collection and I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys as always for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.